हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम रजनीकांत एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग बोट माइक्रो सर्विस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल सेट अप सम बेस माइक्रो सर्विसेस विच विल गो ना यूज इन रेस्ट ऑफ दोज वीडियोज रेस्ट ऑफ दोज टॉपिक्स ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विल डेवलप uh some basic microservices uh we'll gonna see okay so uh if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it if you see uh this is my channel and here lot of videos are there eclipse shortcut intellij idea shortcut and microservices series throw throws final finally finalize and json series intellij idea with git uh crud application lot of other things right java Eight features, Kafka, and uh, other Java eight features. Lot of things are there. You can explore those videos as well. Okay, and this is a Spring Boot microservices series. Whatever I am preparing, and uh, here you can see uh, this is the playlist. You can watch these earlier videos as well, right? So we have covered up to Spring Cloud. So what does Spring Cloud provides, and which will uh, mitigate uh, our challenges? whatever you face spring boot and microservices so today we'll see uh, uh that setup of base microservices which we'll gonna use in uh, upcoming uh, upcoming topics okay we'll take this to uh, application as a reference okay let me open my intellij not intellij idea it's uh, sts so already i have developed two microservices one is ticket booking service Which will allow us to book some ticket. Uh, for example, if I'll show you in my Postman, here the payload will be like name uh, and source from where you are starting your journey and destination. Where do you want to go? Travel date, seat number, and amount. So this information will uh, give to that ticket booking service, and where it will. a uh, call to another service called as payment service so payment service it will deduct our payment and it will uh, show us success then ticket booking service again send us a response that yes ticket got booked uh, successfully okay so we'll uh, develop this application so either you can uh, create those applications from uh, here file new and as a starter project if you'll see already i have created here payment service one like this and uh, here what are the dependencies you want so for ticket booking service i have used s2 database that in memory database and spring data jpa uh, for connecting this s2 database and storing the data and spring web for the restful web services right so these three dependencies are we can say starters i have used so you can you, you can uh, create those create this uh, project from this spring starter project uh from this intellij not intellij idea sorry from sts uh, otherwise you can uh generate those project from spring boot starter project so here also we can uh, spring starter project right so from spring starter project also uh, you can generate your project by providing all the required details okay so let me explore all uh, these uh, projects and i will show you what exactly these things so here if you see in pom.xml so data jpa we are using and starter web you are using and s2 database we are using these three dependencies or you can say uh, artifacts we are using okay and this project structure is here's a uh, ticket booking service and uh, main where this is that main class okay and here i have created a controller okay i have created a controller where i have a book ticket method with post mapping and here i am saving the saving this payload uh, to the repository right 
to that repository so this is that repository we are uh, auto wiring here let me remove this rest template currently we, we no need this one so uh, this is that in the repository I am saving this ticket so let's go to that repository so this is that interface I have defined ticket repository and extends from CRUD repository to use the data JPA okay so all that functionality of CRUD repository will get in ticket repository uh, then uh, one more thing that uh, this entity class right this ticket this is an entity if you'll see here I have this ticket class uh, annotated with at that entity and ID generated value and name source destination uh, travel date <coughs> sorry travel date seat number amount and status if you see uh, these uh, these attributes reflected here name source destination and travel date seat number amount so uh, just see this status we are not sending from postman so this status okay this status we are not sending from postman and this is that payment sorry this is the ticket booking service so let's see and test this uh, service once and for this repository whatever i have done on uh, this application dot properties is there for this ticket booking service where I have enabled spring.s2 console is enabled so as we are using s2 database so if you want to see uh, in that console what are the different tables and writing queries so that we need to do like enable equal to true so that we can open in that uh, browser I will show you and uh, server.port so this ticket booking service will run on this 8081 port and next this uh, spring data source dot url so this is that s2 database url and here the driver class name and username and password and this is the dialect we are using okay <coughs> sorry uh, so uh, let's run this one and we'll gonna see So right click and run a Spring Boot application. Okay, so the application is starting. Okay, good. So just see 8081 Tomcat initialization port with 8081 and S2 console available at slash S2 console. Okay, uh, and database available at this one. So let's first open this console first localhost 8081 plus s2 console ok and here password let's connect the seek now this uh, table is coming but there will be no data this table is coming but if I run select start from ticket uh, there will be no data no row, no rows okay so uh, let's hit this uh, API ticket controller so if you'll see this ticket controller it's a post mapping and there will be no URL I have given here a giver here and we are sending a ticket okay so already I have a post main collection is the ticket booking service localhost 8081 and I have not given any uh, URL here for that post mapping this is the default URL I am providing here and uh, let's have here so I am traveling from some place Vanjanagar to a destination as a Bhubaneswar and I need to travel a date um, what is the date uh, this is uh, somewhere around um, 0 to October maybe okay seat number 14 I want this amount is 500 let's see whether it's able to uh, save or not let's see it just see we are getting a 200 okay response and 
status as a null we are we are getting because we are not setting the status the status will set 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 it <coughs> sorry my bad so we'll set the status at payment service once we'll send this uh, request to payment service once payment is done then we need to set the status as a booked okay now let's see in that uh, console whether the data is coming or not uh, so this is that console and let me do select star from ticket so see we are getting id and amount 500 destination bbsr name and seat number and source and status is null currently because we are not setting the status okay so this uh, service is working perfectly mm, uh, now let's see that payment uh, service so this application is up and running now let's go to payment service and the same way you you can create this payment service uh, using spring boot starter project or else uh, that initializer spring initializer from that web as well okay so here what are the dependencies we are using if you will see here we are using only web as a dependencies okay uh, no s2 con no s2 database or spring data jpa we are using here because uh, we are not we are not going uh, to do any database operation in this payment service right so this is a dummy application where we'll receive that uh, payment request and we'll just send some uh, send some uh, uh, send some uh, payload with uh, changing some attributes value okay so this is the main class if you'll see it's a payment uh, application and annotated with, annotated with at the spring boot application and this is a payment controller if you'll see here we are not using any uh, JPA data JPA repository just uh, it's a post mapping do payment and here this is that pay uh, that URL and this is the ticket we will receive as a payload okay and uh, in that payload just see ticket dot set status we are booked so ideally what we will do from this ticket booking service will call this payment service will invoke this payment service and will pass that ticket as a payload and here we will set the status as a booked and will return this ticket payload to test booking service sorry ticket booking service but that part we will see in that next video how we will call these two microservices okay so that part we will see in that uh, next video so just uh, so for now we'll see this payment service is working fine or not okay so this application is running on 8082 port uh, now let's run this application so run as spring boot application 8082 okay so it's running 8082 okay now let's to go to postman and this payment service so this payment service will take a uh, name source destination and travel date seat number and amount as well amount suppose it's 500 for simplicity purpose i am taking all these attributes as a uh, string type so that it will be easy to understand uh, will not call on some complexity okay so this pay is there now let's see uh, what is this output it's coming let me take this name as something okay uh, let's hit this one just see the status is coming as a booked okay so uh, this payment service is also working fine we have seen okay so hope you got it uh, that how to develop these two base microservices have this uh, base microservices ready in your system because we'll going to use these two microservices in upcoming lectures okay so thank you for watching and if you have any comments you can have your comments in the comment section and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it thank you for watching have a nice day